I'll just give us a bit of background why we did this in the first place. This was a um, reference of the Universal Health Coverage Day of 2022, which had a theme of build a world we want, a healthy future for us all. However, that said, this kind of boils down that the world where we want is where everyone should have access to quality health care whenever they need it without suffering financial hardship, which is the goal of Universal Health Coverage. So we did conduct this opinion poll to feel the force of Nigerians regarding health insurance coverage in the country. Um, the poll was conducted in the week beginning November 14th of 2022, and as our usual methodology involved the telephone interviews of a proportionate sample, nationwide sample of 1,000 randomly selected phone only Nigerians, age 18 and above, we can only speak to um, adult Nigerians. And these numbers are representative of the six political regions as well as the six states and FCT of the country. The interviews were conducted in the five lang popular languages, Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba, Pidgin, English, as well as English. And just as a cut, I mean, to, because we're speaking of numbers, although we can say with 95% confidence, confidence that the results we obtained were statistically precise, with an error margin of plus or minus 5%, we recognize that the two series of telephone polling has its own limitations um, of excluding non phone only Nigerians. However, the country's entire density is above 100%, and this is reported by the Nigerian Communications Commission. So we feel that telephone polling is um, appropriate for this kind of uh, work. Also, given the rigorous process of randomization and stratification, we can completely stand by the validity of our methods and our findings. Thank you. So, um, next slide. I, because of the time that I have for this, I'm not presenting the whole um, findings. I'm just wondering just what we think is really important for this conversation that we tend to have here. And the first thing I wanted to establish is where do people actually go to seek care when they fall ill? And the first thing that we asked, I mean, the question was which healthcare facility do you or your family members visit when you are ill? And the point that we're trying to show is that whatever the situation is, majority of Nigerians still assess healthcare from the public health facility. So in all that we're speaking, we need to be sure that whatever we do cover public health facility. And if you look at the distribution across the geopolitical zones, you see that with the exception of South East, South South, and maybe South Southwest, majority of our population still assess healthcare from public health facilities. Next slide. And then the critical question we asked was, how do you pay for health care? Um, only 17% of the people that we spoke to said that they had health insurance coverage. 80% still pay out of pocket. And let me say that when we say out of pocket, it includes I pay for it myself, my friend pays for it, my family, whatever, that they are just paying out of pocket for that health service. The, the point that the key takeaway is only 17% of the people that we spoke to acknowledge that they have health insurance coverage. And this suggests that health insurance still remains very low in Nigeria. And is the reason why we're having this conversation today. Next slide. When we went for that to ask the 17% that have some form of health insurance, what type of health insurance cover that they have, 75% of those that we spoke to had a health insurance coverage from the national health insurance scheme. Only 17% mentioned the private um, health HMO and then others. It's again important to look at the distribution across the geopolitical zones and see that there isn't much difference except maybe with the southwest where 42% of the people that we spoke to mentioned that they have um, private health insurance. Still, overwhelmingly, the NHIS covers the most number of people that say they have some form of health insurance. Next slide. And finally, on this whole fact finding, we did ask, ask are you satisfied, the 17% that do have health insurance, are you satisfied with the service provided by your health insurance provider? And 82% of people that we spoke to said that they are satisfied with the service that they receive. So the key takeaway from this point, before I go to the final two slides that I have, is we do have a very low proportion of people that say they are covered. But of people that are covered, the NHS is carrying most of the, the NHIS is carrying most of the, of the load. And whatever challenges the health insurance coverage has in Nigeria, majority of people are still satisfied with whatever service that they are receiving. So the next um, slide, it's a few points of recommendations that we have to, uh, that we're trying to make on this. So 
So the key point that we are asking is of those that the 80% that say they don't have any form of insurance, we want to ask them, are you aware of the National Health Insurance Scheme? 51% are aware, 49% are not aware. So in terms of what we do, how do we turn the National Health Insurance Act into implementation, one of the key things that we have to focus on is on awareness to be sure that people understand what this is all about. Again, if you look at the geopolitical zone, you see that there isn't much difference between the two zones. I do want to make um, a critical point from my experience in this program in terms of how this awareness drive should go. It's important that we understand what we call trust in government. So it's important that when we are trying to make this awareness campaign, that there is a very deliberate approach to the stakeholders that we decide to talk to people about this thing. And the reason why I'm pointing this out is from my experience during the, um, the COVID, uh, COVID lockdown period and everything, you could see a lot of distrust of information that is coming directly from government. And I'm going to give a very practical example so you could drive on the point. In a series of questions, you're speaking to a single respondent and you're asking the respondent, do you think the numbers of people testing positive uh, to COVID is low or high? And the person tells you the number is very low. I think the government is trying to hide the fact that COVID is a problem. You record that and you go further down and you ask the person, do you think that the numbers that are being uh, reported of um, palliatives is, uh, is high. The person says, I think the government is about knowing the numbers so that they can get more um, aid. It's the same person in the same conversation telling you the numbers are, are being reported low, the numbers are being reported high. And the interpretation of that is that the person just doesn't want to believe whatever is coming out from that, um, that particular source. So it's really critical that as we try to push this mandatory health insurance companies that will take very deliberate attempts in how the awareness is very is created because that is going to be the first step to whether people are going to be receptive of whatever interventions or innovations that we're trying to push forward. On the flip side, the final slide I want to say is Nigerians are willing to pay for health insurance. So despite whatever misconception people might have, 57% of those that we spoke to said that they are willing to pay monthly or yearly for them to be able to access help when they need it. So that's the, those are the things that we need to take away from these um, points that I'm um, trying to, to raise. One, health insurance is low, but people are willing to pay for, for it. So finally, in conclusion, I'd like to say, next slide. Our poll showed as of November 2022 an urgent need for interventions in the Nigerian health system to reduce the incidence of out-of-pocket health expenditure. The proportion of the population covered by financial health risk protection and healthcare utilization is too low at 70% and reported by people that we spoke to compared to a benchmark of 90% for an efficient health system. And this reflects how far we still lag behind the risk for towards universal health coverage. There is a need for definitive and deliberate approach towards mass enrollment of Nigerians as a relevant stakeholder, as well as intensive sensitization. As almost half of Nigerians disclose that they are not aware of the National Health Insurance Scheme. However, 57% of the unenrolled say they are willing. This is without them having the full information of what they need to do, but they are willing to pay for health insurance. And this will go a long way in reducing the incidence of out of pocket payment and include incurring catastrophic health expenditure. Thank you. Thank you.